a question. There's a lot of areas in Columbus. Yeah. And um, it can get overwhelming. It can. So sorry about the little arm through the thing. Sorry about that. <laughs> TJ is now alive. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. We're a hot mess today. This is we? why this is why live so, TV is cool. <clears throat> All right. We Sorry tried something that. new too with the musical intro for <laughs> Mr. Rogers, and you know, fit with the fit with the theme. Yes. You know? so, so, all right. So the one of the first things you know, I think a lot of people, you know, when they start this home search, and they really haven't started to define where they want to be, you know, it's hard for them because mm -hmm. you know there's there's a lot of choices, and then you know there's houses to choose from from there. So you know. One of the first things, you know, I think you should do is um, start to narrow it down a little bit, right? So, mm -hmm. um, define your, your style of living. Do you want the suburbs and the sidewalks or do you want walkable, you know, where you can walk to shops or restaurants? So, um, I think start with your lifestyle. And you know, drill down a little bit from there. That's I think too, an important thing is trying to figure out what style house you want. Um, here in Columbus, and I'm sure it's probably pretty much the same everywhere. But um, you know, a lot of people don't want the cookie cutter subdivision right. lifestyle, yes. which you know, depending on the area, that's what you're going to find. So, um, however, with that, they do want. A big master bedroom, and they do want the big master bath, yes. and that is not going to be found in an older home. Right. So it's important to consider what your wants and needs are with a home. And um, you know, do you want big bedrooms? Do you want walk-in closets? Do you want a bathroom attached to your bedroom? In areas where you're going to find the charm and the older style homes, you may not have that. Yeah. So that's important to narrow down too, I think. So it sounds like then, I think a good, you know, from that I think a good idea is start with your wish list mm -hmm. and then talk to your agent and find out where you can get those things on your wish list. Yeah. If you don't know already where you want to be. A lot of people with kids especially, you know, hone in on a school district. So, right. you know, that could sure. be one of the things too. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Schools are important too. And, and here, um, also, Columbus has a way of sneaking in to different areas, so yeah. also taxes. I mean, yeah. there's going to be areas, and they call it a win-win, but where Columbus, you know, you have Columbus City Services, but you have um, a suburban school district that might be more desirable, and you're going to have less to pay either yeah. way. So there's some things to consider with that, yeah. I think. Right, absolutely. So on the note for schools, that that is one of the things on our list, is, you know, to get schooled. So, you know... Oftentimes, you know, people ask us, well, you know, what are the best school districts? Well, as agents, we're, um, you know, we have to be careful about how we answer those questions because in all reality, you know, there's this little rule um, for fair housing called steering. And, you know, really, you have to do your own homework when it mm -hmm. comes to these kinds of things. So there's, there's different resources online. Talk to your friends, your family. Mm -hmm. um, and don't rely on us to determine what's a good what's a good school because we're not going to answer that question. Well, well, aside from that, what's important to you in a school district may not be important to someone else. That's what I said. Right. It's very subjective. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, you you may want a strong language arts program or a strong sports program for right. a specific sport. Right. We don't know that, so it's up to you to figure out what you value in a school. Well, and I think too, even with that, say you get in one of the more desirable districts, you may have a slew of teachers that you just don't care for for your child. So mm -hmm. you know, even within one that might be more desirable, you may not have that great experience. Right. So who am I to tell you what you know may be good mm -hmm. and may not be good? Yeah. So, but you know, do your homework, figure those right. things out, and then you know, make that part of your list if you have. Um, kids and you want to you know make that part of your yeah. criteria. Yeah, so. absolutely. So what about um, you know? So you've kind of narrowed it down. So then, you know, how are you going to? I, can you I, he cannot. He's, he's still going to town on that thing. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, Welcome to Dublin. I feel really <laughs> authentic right now. <laughs> <laughs> with the We're getting ready for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I, I really I, think, think he is. Like, I really mm -hmm. think he is. Like, yeah. So it, it's actually, I think, kind of cool in a weird mm -hmm. kind of way. But um, yeah. so anyway, so 
you know, neighbors, you know, um, right. uh, can be a good source, you know, right. trying to figure out. So, you know, if you're looking at houses and you're out with your agent and you see a neighbor out and about, you know, before you commit to that house or that neighborhood, you know, maybe, you know, walk across the street or next door, you know, if you see someone out and... Mm -hmm. Talk to them. Yeah, absolutely. Travel through that area too at different times of the day. I know when we, um, I have been in Hilliard for 17 years now and we moved from the Chicago area. So for us, it was a very different experience trying to figure out, um, you know, what neighborhood. We have no idea what's here and what's not. And we're where are we going to want to be and what do we like? And when we finally did narrow it down to a home, um, we drove through the sub the subdivision. We're in a just, you know, subdivision in Hilliard. And we drove through it at different times during the day. And it was amazing the difference in time, you know, from morning when people are at work or, you know, during the day doing whatever they do during the day. And then in the evenings when people are out and, you know, you, there's a lot more activity and a lot more action going on. Are people walking through? You know, for, for us at that time, it was important to have um, walkability and interaction with our neighbors was something that we were so you know do you see that do you see people right. out talking to each other and and walking their dogs or walking right if you like to be social and you know yeah. and you drive through a neighborhood you know at six o'clock and there's no kids playing in the streets or no uh -huh. nobody out working in the yard and you know is that what you're going to want you know if you like to see people and those kinds of things yeah. you know, getting there at a different time of the night or on the weekend good way to figure it out. I too actually had that with um, some clients we were seeing a home in an area that they may not have been more familiar with. They were looking for certain areas in the neighborhood like schools and um, they found a home that they liked and then they did go home knocking on a couple of doors next to it to ask the neighbor's opinion mm -hmm. of what, you know, I don't, I don't remember the questions they had offhand but... I generally find people you know, are are very open to that conversation. Sure, you know, they, I would be. You know, they want to know as much as you do who's moving into the neighborhood. Right. They mm -hmm. want to know who their neighbors are going to be and get to know people. So, right. you know, I did that when I bought, you know, in my previous home. Mm -hmm. um, and I was actually trying, just trying to find the HOA president. Um, sure. So I knocked on someone's door who I saw pull in the driveway because that's when I knew they were home. But, you know, I, I found them to be very friendly and very helpful, so... And especially as it gets warmer, you don't even need to go knock on people's doors because you're going to have a lot of people outside sure. working in the yard or mm -hmm. you know, kids are playing out in the front yard or whatnot. And it's just as easy to go up and say, hey, I'm looking at this house next door. What, you know, what do you know about it? Because right. you may also get some extra knowledge about the house that you're looking at when, during the process. Yes, which may be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Inspections and so forth only come up with so much. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, had a, I, I, I had a client who was afraid because after she bought her house, a neighbor told her that someone had committed suicide in it. Oh. And come to find out that it was an urban legend and oh. no one had actually done that, but oh. someone thought that they had. And yeah, what would you do with that? Things happen. It, you know what? I, you know, because that is something that comes up. <coughs> you know, I mean, stuff like that should be disclosed, but... You know, that, that can be really iffy for someone. I mean, yeah. that could really ruin a transaction. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Maybe the house they love, but they, someone tells them something like that. And yeah. I'm not going to buy that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, thank you. Anyway. So, yeah. you know, another piece of advice, I think, is, is don't settle. You know, so if you have your wish list and you have, you know, <clears throat> these, these traits in a neighborhood that you've identified, you know, stick to your guns. You're going to live there for a while. You're making a big investment. Inventory is small right now. And of course, you know, um, we want what you want. And, you know, obviously a fast sale is, is, is fun, right? but you know, you've got to look out for you. And so don't settle if you don't find what it is that you're looking for, because you know, it, it will come along and this is going to require patience in this market. So. Yeah, and you may spend 17 years living in a house thinking it's fine. Because <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Yeah. I mean, well, we I mean settled, you move in and you think, well, I'm only going to live here for five years. And, and then 17 years 17 later. 17 years later, and that's exactly what happened. And so, the, you know, usually when I'm working with buyers, I'll 
draw from my own experience because when we moved here, the market was crazy like that. I mean, we would talk to our agent and on Wednesday, there'd be 20 houses for us to look at. And on Friday, there were three left mm -hmm. and we were coming for the weekend. And they're, just, you know, so the home we bought, it's a great neighborhood. And for us, I mean, it was everything that we were looking for, but the house itself, I mean, I didn't, it was fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. But we were going to move after a few years just to get a better feel for the lay of the land and you know, it's fine. But you, I've, I, I've, I've, I've had some clients. Is it? That, 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 <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay. I, I've had, I like my family. Right? I, I've had some folks yeah, that so, so <laughs> work on like a point system. Oh. They're like, okay, these are the things that we have to have. And beyond that, there's a whole list of maybe 15 things <laughs> that we'd like to have in a house or a neighborhood. And we want at least half of those. Oh, okay. So, you know, because you, know, you, you may not find 100 and percent of everything right. but know what you're willing to give and take on too and I think that's important especially in the seller's market we're having you don't want to settle yet you don't want to not you don't want to pass up a good deal yeah I mean you know there's a lot of that so um, yeah you do have to have some give and take I think with your mm -hmm. wish list We've all of this is going to be give and take you know? yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> you know, and yeah whether you're spending a hundred thousand or five million you know yeah. it, it truly is a compromise you know somewhere in there you're going to compromise on something so you know in your wish list it's not a bad idea to identify the non-flexible items whether that is um you know it if it is the schools like if, if your kids are already in one school mm -hmm. and you want them to continue in that school and you don't want to be flexible on that then that's where you start, right? Right. I and mean, that's a great starting point because mm -hmm. then you really narrowed Absolutely. down. Absolutely. But then as far as the rest of the items on your wish list, you know, five bedrooms versus four or three bedrooms versus, or three bathrooms versus two, you know, big yard, three car garage, you know, all of those things. You know, when we set your search up, you know, we set these searches up in the MLS all the time for people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I try to keep the search broad. And, you know, while you're going to get some properties that, don't meet a big part of your criteria, you're also not going to miss something. And I think it's right. important to not miss an opportunity because we got so mm -hmm. specific, you know, on what all the, the wants and the wishes. Absolutely. Were, so. Yeah. Um, going back to the schools for a second, though, and I'm going to ask you this. If you're trying to get a feel for a specific school um, or a school district, how about going to some of the school sporting events or school activities that kind oh. of help give you a great feel for how the school is hmm. or the level of involvement the parents have? Probably depends on the sport because <laughs> uh, the sports that my, my daughter w was in versus what my son is in, it's a very different community of parenting. <laughs> Wrestling first, football versus track, you know, so <laughs> there's a little bit more involvement in um, some of them. So, yeah, I think that that's a great idea. I think that you, um, yeah, I mean, absolutely, you get to see um, the community. A lot of people come out, you get to see the strengths, the weaknesses, mm -hmm. you know. Um, <clears throat> again, I'd probably choose the sport. <laughs> yeah. I mean, whichever, you know what your kids like to do. Sometimes or... people seem a little maniacal at some of these things. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> but if you're, don't, yeah. if you're passionate like that too, then maybe that works. Passionate is a really good word. <laughs> yes. Passionate is a very good word. Yeah, that's a really good idea. And I think too, you know, um, call the schools. If you're looking at a house, um, and, and, you know, if, why not call the school that would be feeding into that and, and talk to the administration or, or Teach principal or teachers, yeah. see if yeah. any of the teachers would be open to talking and, and mm -hmm. yeah, see whatever questions you might have. I don't know. When we were moving, I mean, schools, my daughter was going to be starting kindergarten. It wasn't something that I specifically was looking at or for. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. Call me a pet mom. <laughs> 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 are very specific about it so yeah mm -hmm. there's definitely uh -huh. things like that so yeah. so I think it's about generally here getting involved early you know yeah. in the neighborhood before you you know hone in on a specific area you know go take a walk in the neighborhood you know sure. go, yeah. go walk around um, you know just take the dog or you know the kids or whatever on a Saturday 
and go go walk, you know, and get out. Take a nice spring day. You know, we've got lots of those hopefully coming up. So get out of the car. Um, Listen to the bagpipes. Yes. <laughs> Come to Old Dublin. I feel like a commercial right now. But, um, <laughs> but uh, so yeah, so I mean, I think there's lots of things you can do to really familiarize yourself with the area. Um, and I would check out the community calendar for festivals oh, or yeah. other activities in the area yeah. um, because that may also help you determine whether you do or do not want a specific house because if there are a lot of summer festivals on your street for example I can, think of, some, I can think of a specific area in uh, Columbus where there are festivals for three weeks and it's really hard to get in and out of your house sometimes. And do you have parking available? That's, uh, be, I, yeah, mm -hmm. is there parking? But yeah. If you're Irish mm -hmm. you know, or you have Irish Affinity, you know, then you might want to look in a particular area. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, Dublin. okay, now, now I'm getting into steering, which no, no. you're okay, not. So, <laughs> I'm just referencing the bad bagpipes in case the division is watching because they were so, like, yeah. he so went back inside now. Yeah, He's so done. no, so but you know, Dublin's got the whole Irish festival, yes, they do have that thing going here. If you like tomatoes. You know, Reynolds, Reynoldsburg has a good tomato festival. Well, I was thinking specifically of the short north area here, too, where they do um, a lot of stuff over yeah. the summer. Gallery hop, well, and not just over the summer, but well, somewhat you know, year round. And, and I had a client who was looking at a condo and didn't actually have parking specific to the condo he was looking mm -hmm. at. And so it would be on street parking. And is that something you're going to want to deal with? Because I'll tell you what, on those weekends, don't leave your house. <laughs> yeah. If you don't have a park, a garage, and if, or a spot. You know, in Dublin, the Memorial Tournament. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. Those mm -hmm. kinds of things. If you live in Muirfield, you know, I, I think the community enjoys that mm -hmm. um, aspect mm -hmm. of it. Because there is a, a celebratory feeling in right. that week of the Memorial yeah. Tournament. And so, yeah, if it, it, figure out what, what things you like. And, you know, like Jenny was saying, there's all kinds of festivals downtown and mm -hmm. around the short north and that, that area. So... You know, if you like those things, you know, that's, that's another thing you can hone in on. But what about safety? You know, so how do so we... So that's a question we probably get a lot. And again, it leads into this area <coughs> where as agents, and Wayne being the broker, I think you can um, probably guide a little bit more in this conversation. But um, what should someone do? I mean, say someone does say, what well, is this a safe neighborhood? Yeah, so we're not going to say yes or no. Right. Um, you know... <clears throat> Different neighborhoods have inherent qualities that come mm -hmm. along with being part of that neighborhood, you know, as we've been discussing here. So if safety is an issue, um, you know, the sex offender registry, there's a lot of public record information out there. And what we're going to do is direct you to those resources where you can go do your own, own homework. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, for instance, I live, you know, in the short north. And it is an ur urban right. neighborhood in a big city. So... There are, you know, car break-ins and, you know, there are things mm -hmm. like that that happen when you live in, you know, an urban, mm -hmm. concentrated urban. area, yeah. you know. Right. Um, so for me, you know, I knew when I bought my house and I moved in, you know, I did my own homework on safety and what mm -hmm. I was comfortable with. And ultimately, you know, I landed, you know, where, where we landed. So for me, that's fine. You know, some people will be less open to, you know, those right. kinds of areas and those kinds of trends that may happen around you. Um, so just do your homework, you know, whether the dispatch, Columbus Dispatch has a um, feature, I think, on their website where they plot out mm -hmm. crimes that have happened in an area. Mm -hmm. And you can go on, um, there's lots of reports and you can figure out, you know, uh, sex offenders, where the sex offenders live, mm -hmm. you know, those kinds of things. And if that's an issue for you, then, you know, you're going to want to, you know, do your homework and figure out where, where is best for you. And it's the same for, you know, safety as it is if you're of a certain, you know, religion, uh, if you're of, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, I don't know, if, if, you know, homosexual neighborhood, you know, people, you know, people want to, you want right. to be around other gay people, then, you know, we're not going to steer you into certain areas. You've got to ask your friends and you've got to do your own homework. And that, it's the same for schools, safety, mm -hmm. and, you know, any other kinds of traits of, you know, anybody that you want to be around. And with good reason, we're limited on 
topics like that. I mean, you know, and, and I always, it's kind of um, a conundrum because people rely on us for information about different things, but with good reason, we're not allowed to talk about certain things or steer you to areas. I mean, and, and again, a lot of it can be subjective. Mm -hmm. What I might find personally some is desirable, someone else might not. Mm -hmm. And um, so, right. yeah, it's well, kind of a difficult um, area. Well, and just, like talk, just like talking to the neighbors, I think that you could talk to um, neighborhood leaders a lot of mm -hmm. neighborhoods now have Facebook pages or maybe there's a civic association in the area and talk with those folks because they can give you insight but remember that it's coming through their lens and their filter. So yeah. just because someone says, oh, this is a great thing or oh, this is a bad thing, you need yeah. to realize that they're putting it through their own filter and their own lens so then you need to reorient that towards yourself. Yeah, the internet is a great tool when it comes to this. I mean, there's so many sites available and, and like Wayne said, we can tell you what they are or where to look online or just do a random Google search to find. Um, there are, I, I know I get the question there, there for investors and, and there's a lot of regentrification happening in the Columbus area, um, but maybe as yet that neighborhood might not be somewhere you want to locate yet and again it's the safety issue it's crime it's whatever it might be and the internet is a vast sea of knowledge make google your friend yes yeah, yeah. so um and it's not that we don't want to help you no um, right yeah right. it's just um it's why can't we win yeah well <laughs> laws and yeah. you know just sensitivity you know right it's, like jenny said you know what's important to you Maybe you know, or what's important to us doesn't may not matter to you. Mm -hmm. And right. um, this isn't about us. Right. right. It's about you. And you know, that us getting that's, yeah, to where us getting. you're going to be happy. So it is. It is a tightrope walk. You know right. that that conversation. But in the end, you know, we'll guide you to sources and let you make yeah. your decisions. Yeah. Absolutely. So I think. I mean, can you think of? Another idea or not really. I mean I think yeah. we've pretty much hit, you know, the big things here, you know, as far as all the considerations. Um, yeah. We could probably go down the list again yes, just to so, wrap up mm -hmm. for everyone. Yeah. So we'll start by narrowing down, you know, one to two. And when we say neighborhood, you know, I don't necessarily mean neighborhood as much as I mean city because it's right. and, and sometimes especially in this this market, like if, if Hilliard is, you know, where do you want to be you know, I don't know if narrowing down to heritage farms specific or, you know, a subdivision, specific, yeah, subdivision is, yeah. is going to be in your best interest. Right. Unless maybe you've got friends or family that you're trying right. to be near right. and then talk to us about that. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but in any case, you know, usually hone in on a city. Um, Even a side of town, north, right. south, east, right. west, I mean, different, different areas, you know, I, I, there, you may get more for your money in some mm -hmm. than others. So. Yeah. Um, you know, that's kind of what you need to, or age of home. Do you want newer? Do you want older? Right. It seems more toward the, in, the inner working of the city is going to be an older style home. Further out might be newer. It's just because of the way cities expand and mm -hmm. not to say that there isn't new builds in the city because the, certainly we're, we're seeing that. Yeah. I mean, right there. Right. <laughs> yeah. right outside of our window. Going in right there. Yeah. We could just flip you around. We right may flip you guys right. around one of these days so yeah. you can see the view from where where we are. It's All the construction view, going yeah. on. It's yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so after that, you know, talk to neighbors. Right. Um, don't settle. Don't settle. You know, do your homework. You know, as far as schools. Mm -hmm. Do your own. Do your own homework on safety. Right. Um, because once again, you have to put down what's important to you, mm -hmm. right? Because um, that's what's important at the end of the day. You're the one who's going to be living there for three, five, ten, seventeen years. And <laughs> things happen everywhere. You know, car yeah, break-ins, right. garage, you know, break-ins. Right. Those things happen everywhere. Yeah. You know, it's just your level of comfort. So go do your homework there. And then finally, take, take a walk. Walk. <laughs> <laughs> walk around the area that you're interested in, and the house that if you if you see that house that you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today Walk is around. a great day for that. So yeah. Your house, it's, yeah. It's warm before it starts raining. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Um, 
But yeah, so I think we've covered it. I think so yeah. too. Um, so again, as usual, you know, you know where to find us um, here on Facebook, um, on social media channels, uh, message or you know direct contact. So and you know, I, just in case. I don't know, if, if you are interested in purchasing a home or selling a home, you know, we are real estate agents. And <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I put that out there because, you know, sometimes people tune in, they don't understand. But um, we're with 43 homes mm -hmm. and, um, you know, call us, p private messages, email. We're Everything. all available. Yeah. The biggest thing I get is people feel like they're putting me out. You know? Right. And it's like, this right. is what I do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we you know, would love I to would... help you. So. I'd rather be involved in the process or sooner rather than later. Right, so, absolutely, um, absolutely. So you know, don't don't worry about us. You know, worry about you, and we'll help take care of you. So. And I know we've said it before, but really, there's no obligation to have these conversations. If you've got questions, feel free to reach out anytime. Yeah. Talk to us. I'm I I love the education part of what I do. So whatever questions I can help answer, I'm believe me, it's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, at the end of the day, we're here for you and for what you need and to build a relationship together. Right. Um, because we want to make sure that you're happy. Right. And gosh darn it, we're fun. Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring wine. So, yes. Wait, so yeah. we have one more thing. And um, surprise, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, so for this month, what we were talking about as far as a drawing, I mean, we've done... Um, where you ask a question and you get entered in a raffle and we've done it weekly, but we were considering possibly doing it just for the month. So anyone who asks a question, com well, dependent on the comment, uh, <laughs> Hi, nice to see you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> real estate related comment, um, you will get entered in a drawing, which TJ and I decided surprise way <laughs> is going to be. A dozen cookies from... Plenty of cookies. Plenty of cookies. So, surprise, mm -hmm. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back for another box. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it's a fantastic, independently owned um, business here in Columbus. And he uh, creates cookies, custom design, and we will have fun design. And they're beautiful, and they're, they taste wonderful. And Well, we'll look forward to that. I like cookies. Yeah. So... So yes. send us your questions, send us your comments during the broadcast, after the broadcast on our videos, yeah. and get entered for those drawings. And so, when you get the cookies, if one's missing, I didn't do it. <laughs> TJ did. <laughs> <laughs> so cheers, everyone. Cheers, cheers. Thank you. And now the awkward pause while I turn everyone off. So Bye, everybody. See ya. That's good. Exit music. <laughs>